Yeah, so any reason in particular why you're filming today, sir? Well, I'm filming because it's a legal right to film, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, that's one of the reasons. There are another reason. Right. Yeah. I want to know if you're going to be making any comment on the two police officers that brutally beat up a 70-year-old man in Shortlands on the 13th of September. He was um, hospitalised. He had a broken nose, cheekbone fractures and cuts. He was hospitalised because he was stopped for a defective towel light. Right, so I'm outside Bromley Police Station and I'm trying to find some information about the two police officers that brutally beat up a 70-year-old man because they said that he had a defective towel light. Okay, so what it was, there's two officers who are unidentifiable at the moment. Yeah, shoulder numbers, can't get hold of them. And um, basically they stopped him in the Shortlands area of Bromley and they said that um, he had a defective towel light. Well, what transpired is, allegedly, what the police are saying is that um, this 70-year-old man who's um, five foot eight and eight stone hit a police officer. So therefore the police officers retaliated by causing him to have a broken nose, fractured cheekbone um, bones and cuts and grazes and bruises. And, um, and there's no accountability. So I've come down today to try to find out what's going on, how comes it's not being publicised and we are not going to stand for it. Bromley, you are a disgrace. You cannot be beating up 70 year old people, men, right? And then expect us not to say anything, yeah? Well, we're standing up and we're saying something, okay? This is um, my YouTube channel sort of sticking up for lots of people, yeah? So, oh, I'm just so annoyed angry is not the word yeah i'm annoyed and I'm, i actually feel sorry for the family yeah who's had to go through this so my this is for you guys yeah i'm out here i'm trying to get some accountability from bromley police they won't give it to me they said i've got to go through freedom of information and all this kind of thing so to so the two police officers that beat up the man yeah 70 years old put him in hospital because they said that he had a broken towel light yeah Okay, well let me just say this, we've got another auditor who actually um, videoed the police about a month ago I think and they've got a car, the car registration is BX20FPL and that had a defaulted um, towel light, uh, defective towel light as well, yeah? So I wonder if you would have done the same thing, stop your own colleague and then pull him out of the car and say, oi, your towel this, it's not acceptable. Anyway, I'm going to go and see if I can get some reaction from the police officers. Hi there, mate. Um, I'm wondering whether or not I can get somebody to speak to me in regards to an incident that happened to a 70 year old West Indian man who got um, abused by two Bromley police station, uh, two Bromley police officers on the 13th of um, September. Um, he suffered a broken nose and fractured cheekbones and cuts to his face. And um, I'm trying to find out whether or not this is um, acceptable. So. They wouldn't give you any information. They wouldn't give me any information. That's definite. Nobody will come down and um, comment on it at all. No one will comment on it. No. Because it's not related to me. No, which is fair enough. I'm just trying to figure out whether or not Bromley Police Station uh, are somehow accountable to the situation. Obviously, it's a matter of public interest. So I'm just trying to find out whether somebody will come and talk to me. I don't think they will. Okay. They're busy, yeah? Okay, and so because it's, it doesn't um, concern me, that is, are you saying that they they wouldn't talk to me about it? Are you saying because it doesn't concern me? In other words, it wasn't my dad. Okay. Thank you. 
Oh, you said you were going to go and do something. No, you can apply to the Freedom of Information Act. Okay. No, you can do that through the Metropolitan Police. Okay. Okay. And they'll tell what information would they give me? Who the officers were involved? I can't hear you. It's very echoey. So, well, my mask isn't going to understand what I'm saying. I'm talking just because my mask's on. It is echoey. Okay, that's a bit of a, so, yeah, a this. Okay, and will they tell me who the officers are involved? Sorry? Will they tell me who officers are involved? You apply the Freedom of Information Act and you get all the information that you need there. Okay, but nobody in the station is, is would come down and, and tell me what, what went on. It's data protection, but yeah. isn't it in the public interest? So apply for the uh, Freedom of Information and you get all the information that way. Okay then, thank you very much. I'm doing some filming around the police station. I'm going to do some filming around some around the police station. Is that okay? I'm going to be filming around the police station. All right. Cheers. Thank you. So this is Bromley Police Station and I've come here today to see if we get a, a statement in regards to two Bromley police officers um, technically beating up a 70 year old man yeah what they said is that um, What they said is that he was driving a car and there was a faulty back light. Allegedly, this is what they're saying. And then what they ended up doing is dragging him out the car, fracturing his cheek. He got a broken nose and cuts. And he's 70 years old he's five foot eight he's about eight stone and this is what the two officers said that they'd stopped him for a, a, a broken light but yet he ended up in hospital what kind of madness is that that's kind of crazy you know and i'm not even sure whether the two police officers are working still you know they haven't put out a news briefing, bulletin, about what's actually gone on. We've had enough. It's just ridiculous. Bromley, you, you can't get away with stuff like that and expect no publicity. You know, you have to account for, your, for what's gone on. You have to. So I'm trying to get any comments from any police officer preferably the inspector but as, as yet no comment no comment no comment no comment so this is um bromley police station here it says public access, no public access, police vehicles only. I'm sure that's for the cars. Police authorised vehicles only. So let's see what they say. I'm going to be standing on the footpath. So I don't want no directives about getting knocked down. I'm not here for hostile reconnaissance. I'm not here to catch uh, personal number plates. I'm here to see if Bromley police will account 
for the brutal beating of a 70 year old man. In one of the other auditors um, uh, videos there was a police car BX20 FPL and it had a defective light and that defective light wasn't picked up on them um, oh hold on a second yeah hello are you right? yeah 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 I'm fine I'm, I'm, I'm filming okay. yeah reason? yeah there is a reason I'm doing it as a public interest I think they're going to come out and find out more. Let's see. There we go. One, two at the back. I'm doing fine, thank you very much. Can I um, ask you to identify yourself? Yeah, I'm PC Sandways, attached to Bromley Police Station, 3507 SM. Thank you very much. Hello, sir, you're right. PC Jones, 3499, same, same uh, police station. Cheers. Okay. If, if they're going to come out and join us, we might as well just get everybody's ID. Yeah, of course, yeah. We're just um, obviously filming the police station. Yeah. You know, that's fine. You know, that's fine. But it's also reasonable to think that if you're going to do that, police officer is going to come and have a chat to make sure everything's okay, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so any reason in particular why you're filming today, sir? Well, I'm filming because it's a legal right to film, basically. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, that's one of the reasons. There are another reason. Right. Yeah. I want to know if you're going to be making any comment on the two police officers that brutally beat up a 70 year old man in Shortlands on the 13th of September. He was um, hospitalised, he had a broken nose, cheekbone fractures and cuts. He was hospitalised because he was stopped for a defective towel light. And I want to know whether or not you guys or Bromley are going to make any comment. You know, you know, yeah, can I, can I take these houses? No, sorry. Okay, and also like by filming. Yeah, well, I've what? already said to you what I'm what I'm filming. Yeah, and I told you the reason why I'm yeah. filming. So I'm yeah. engaging. I'm that's letting fine. you know. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, you that's fine. So, that's fine. so it's just just as we said to earlier on, that's fine. But also, if you're going to film a police station, it's also yeah. it's reasonable to think we're going to come you can, out. You can come out and. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, not, yeah I'm I'm not. Not. I haven't got an issue with that. Good. Okay, good. I'm glad. Yeah, because the, the only reason, obviously, why we're asking you why you're filming is it's a back gate. It's a bit of a security risk, isn't it? To our, to our okay, station. so I've said to you why I'm filming. Yeah. Yeah. I've but given you. I've given you the reason. Filming a wall doesn't really. No, I'm well. Obviously, I'm not filming the wall I'm filming you now right. it, it made you wall. stop didn't it because I want you to tell me whether or not you're condoning the actions of your fellow police officers I, I don't know there's been no there's been no news coverage of it you know he's 70 year old man well 13th of September 13th of September in Shortlands area your two police officers okay okay so okay, the, well, the well, information you're giving there is the only information I've, I know about incident. Well, so if you go inside that. and you check it out, you know, what's you can it, look it you can look it up on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's there for everybody to see. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to make any comment on these two police officers that are beating up a 70 year old man? They left him with a broken nose, fractured cheekbones, cuts, hospitalised. Well, so we I mean, it's on the, the internet. Case, so yeah. Well, um, okay, so that means you're not going to make no comment on it, I guess. Yeah, so you know we can't, we can't well, then that's fine then. Then, um, then so I've got nothing to, more to say to okay, because I'm doing a legal right to film. Yeah, well, that's fine. Yeah, 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 that's
and you've just seen the way that these police officers are standing and built anyway uh, I shall pick this up in a second No comment, no comment, no comment. I think everybody's just going in. They're not making no comment. They're just um, leaving me alone because they know that um, they abuse their powers when they um, beat up a 70 year old man um, in Bromley. And these are the police officers that need to be held to account. And nobody's saying nothing. They're just driving in, not saying a word. They know as part of um, the pinup movement, I'm not doing anything wrong, I'm legally filming. And I've asked a question, do they condone, do this, does this police station, does Bromley police station condone the beating of a 70 year old man, yeah, causing him to have um, uh, fractures, a broken nose, cuts on his face, hospitalised and arrested you know okay, you right? I'm, I'm okay I'm okay are you right can I ask you something okay. uh, let me stand out the road because I'm not going to come in the road but yeah let me ask you something you want to pull up Can you get out of the road, please? Okay, yeah. Are you going to um, pull over? Cool. He doesn't want to engage, he wants to get on his radio and do what he's going to do. He's not, I bet he's not even going to answer the question. Then I speak to him. All he's saying is get out of the road, leaving his um, seatbelt on, driving off. So, are, are, you going to, are you going to talk to me? Hello, are you going to talk to me? Is that a no? I'm trying to find out about the abuse. The abuse of two Bromley officers that um, 
beat up a 70 year old man I'm trying to get um, a comment they um, they beat him up so badly that he ended up with a fracture um, a broken nose and cuts to his face he was hospitalized is, is that a no comment are you just going to drive off and ignore me I think that was a no comment. I think he's just going to drive off and ignore me because that's what these officers do. You know, they all need to be held account accountable. You know, but when it comes to the abuse that they do, they just drive off. They, they've got nothing to say. You know, if I was doing something wrong there, out of the car straight away, can I get out of the road? That was his first directive. Okay, yeah, sure, of course I can get out of the road. I don't need to be walking in the road, but are you going to stop and talk to me? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I'll listen to the radio. Okay, yeah, nah. Yeah, it's like wacky races around here. Everybody's in and out of this police station, but nobody wants to stop. Yes, it's... um absolutely disgusting the way that these police officers have uh, treated this gentleman i wonder if it's a general thing do they go around beating up 17 year 70 year old men and not say nothing you know it's not been publicized a lot i don't know why it's not been publicized you know it's um something which you know we shouldn't we shouldn't be accepting we shouldn't accept this at all it's something which the police need to be accountable for, you know. They need to be asked all these things. Why? Waving. And, uh, you know, this is how, how um, it goes with these guys. Standing there waving, like, it's funny. You know, that's all, that's all they do. Yeah, go on then, I'll follow you. Okay, drive off. You know, they're waving like it's something, like it's a game. You know, like they, they're, they're like they're above the law. You know, they're trying to say to me, don't film the police station, but it's legal to film the police station. You know, and then they're standing there waving at me when they're coming through the door. <laughs>